Hi everyone, welcome to another Lawson Gems tutorial. Uh, this time I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm actually going to be doing a viewer request. Now I've been asked if I can show you guys how to cut a gemstone using only what you can buy from your local hardware store. And more specifically, on the stone fluorite. As you can see, I'm out of the workshop today. I'm just in the living room, just doing it on a regular old dining room table. And um, yeah, we'll see how we go. I've picked out a nice big piece with obvious flat surfaces and not too many deep pits or cracks. This will make things a lot easier as I can just follow the natural shape of the rough while cutting the stone. This is another piece I finished earlier. You can see I've used just a few facets and kept them all quite large. This makes the hand polishing a much easier job. Now as you can see, this is very basic material, all of which was purchased from a regular hardware store or just found around the house. We have some liquid metal polish, a cutting board, wet and dry sandpaper in 180, 400, 600 and 1200 grit, a clean cloth and some tap water. To get started, place the lowest grit sandpaper, in this case the 180 grit, onto your cutting board on a stable surface. Then add a small amount of water to the paper and choose the side of the stone to start on. This piece has nice flat surfaces on it which makes it a lot easier to choose. From here, simply place the surface you want to polish on the sandpaper and with a reasonable amount of pressure, start grinding the stone with an even and consistent motion. You can see within a short amount of polishing time, the stone has already taken a nice flat face. It is important to note as well that in between each stage, you need to wash the stone to avoid cross-contaminating the grits. After the first and most coarse sandpaper, the stone has been preformed into its basic shape. And as you can see, the original shape of the crystal has lent itself towards resembling somewhat of a square cut. Now, all you need to do is sand each face of the stone and repeat in the same manner, working your way all the way through the sandpapers up to the 1200 grit. You can also use a circular motion every now and then to avoid grooves in the surface, which may result from continually grinding the piece in a single direction. After finishing on the 1200 grit, the piece is now ready for its final polish. Okay, so we've finished off with the sandpaper now, we're going to move on to the final polish. For this, basically I've just picked up some metal polish. This one actually specifically states that you can use it to remove small scratches from glass and plastic, which means it's going to be a bit more abrasive, which is what you're looking for if you're trying to polish stone, basically. But you can pick up Silvo and the stronger one, which is Brasso, which is going to be similar, but probably not quite as strong. So if you can find something that says it's going to, you know, do a good job on glass as well, that's, that's probably more what you're looking for. Simply wrap the cloth over your cutting board and place a small amount of the polishing compound onto the centre. It may be a bit tricky to hold onto the stone at this point, but try rotating the piece until you find a comfortable grip with which you can polish each face of the stone. This is by far the trickiest part, and you may want to give the stone a wipe every now and then, just so you can check to see how it is polishing. Well, there we have the finished piece. Now, obviously, the longer you take on each of the stages, the better the finish you're going to get. This piece took me about maybe 15, 20 minutes, but I'm, I'm fairly happy with how it turned out. Now, I was going to do a free form to begin with, but as the piece was somewhat already in a nice little octahedral shape, I kind of went up with a little bit of a you know, misshapen square cuts of a stone. Well, and that's it for now. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. A special thanks to Hisfiend for suggesting this topic. He did ask for fluorite, but this should work on most soft stones, anywhere up to about a hardness of 6, which is where about your glass is going to be at, which means you can still use one of your metal and glass polishes to actually get that final shine on the stone. Uh, I will be posting up some other videos soon of amber and turquoise, so keep an eye out for those. If you did enjoy the video, please hit the like button down below, or better yet, hit the subscribe button. And as always, you know, have fun with your gemstones, and we'll see you next time.